is that expression broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 remember the three pillars we are trying to build a strategy and or a system we are trying to understand how risk management works and we are trying to understand how the big one our psychology works with our strategy systems and risk management also remember that we are in the intermediate module everybody we are passed over the beginner and the basic module so if this is your first time with us please go back on Dukas Copy YouTube channel and start watching the webinar starting from webinar number one over and over and over hello sir time to shine sir how are you time to shine sir remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice the webinars are for educational purposes only hello Miguel hello Akos and let's continue build our knowledge upon this picture this is the third Fibonacci that we are learning for uh, from is the so-called the Fibonacci of the confirmation number one we use the Fibonacci of the confirmation to 1.1 to re-enter trends when we have missed the entry at C and 1.2 to confirm the extension from the original Fibonacci of the larger time frame and the smaller time frame came one one hour late yesterday yes it's uh, Th those time zones are a mess those time zones are a mess because Brazil said I don't know other countries but Brazil said oh we are not going to have the, the adjustment of the time zone so uh, what else Argentina said also Latin America said they, that they don't have the adjustment of time anymore and Europe it has USA it has so it's, it's a mess the time zones okay that being said let's dive into the live chart and the homework for you from yesterday it was to analyze the Fibonacci on the two hour chart right was to analyze the Fibonacci on the two hour chart and to find out the Fibonacci of the confirmation right so if this is the two hour chart everybody tell me are we going to draw an up Fibonacci original one or are we going to draw a down Fibonacci original one and why Chile has Victor thanks God Chile is intelligent Brazil Argentina Paraguay they are not I mean this is just a stupid government thing you know tell me everybody are we going to buy I mean are we going to draw an up Fibonacci original one on the two hour chart or are we going to draw a down Fibonacci original one on the two hour chart what is going to be your answer what do you think <coughs> And remember tomorrow we have CAD news, we have news announcement. Okay. There they are there is a prediction that the Canadian Central Bank is going to cut the interest rate. So Canada JPY it's supposed to fall. Okay, it's just a speculation. Can we look at the four hour chart first? yes sir time to shine sir this is the four hour chart are you going to draw an up Fibonacci original one or are we going to draw a down Fibonacci original one what do you think up or down there is no right or wrong everybody you need to learn the concepts Okay, this webinar, this lesson of today is the continuation of yesterday's webinar. And yes, remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. Down, 
Time to shine down. Why down? Time to shine. Miguel says down. Why down? Ako says up. Why up? I'm your student. You're my teacher. Why down or why up? And some of you are, is right, some of you is wrong. I'm going to explain you. But I want you to think. Why up or why down? And I remember we are talking about the Fibonacci's. Okay, not the general direction or anything. Why up or why down, everybody? And there is no right or wrong, you can have up Fibonacci's, down Fibonacci's, right? If you don't get these concepts, everybody, about how the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame, if you don't understand this concept about multiple time frame trading, if you don't understand how one Fibonacci reflects from one time frame to the other, then most likely you are going to lose. And we are going to lose because we are going to enter a wrong Fibonacci in the wrong place. Miguel says the main overall structure and trend is down. No, sir. Miguel, no, it's up. Remember the monthly bands, Miguel? Because of the monthly bands, Miguel, everything is up on Canada JPY, not down. Ako says we are higher than the structure low. Good observation. Time to shine down because the bigger picture haven't made a higher high. Time to shine, you are together with Miguel, the structure is up. Hello, Annie. Victor says short. No, sir. <laughs> Everybody, Akos is right. He wants to draw an up Fibonacci on the two hour chart. Here is the reason why. Okay, pay attention and watch this webinar over and over again. On the monthly chart, this is the monthly chart from yesterday and let's color code the two bands in pink. See the two bands? The market touched. The market touched the upper band and then it touched the lower band so everything this is a specific of the monthly chart. Everything because of the monthly band, everything is up, everybody. Up because the trend line was broken. Maybe yes, but we are talking also about the Fibonacci's. Time to shine and Miguel. The market touched the lower band and it didn't touch the upper band. So everything is up. This is a specific of the currency market. Not stocks, not bonds, not cryptos, not ETFs, but currency. Everything, it must be up. Structure speaking, Fibonacci speaking. Okay, time to shine and Miguel, okay, and as you can see <clears throat> from the monthly chart, we have an up original Fibonacci with a confirmed C, and we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation with the confirmed sub sub C. Got it? Okay, great. And Akos was right. Because we have an up Fibonacci original one and we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation with the confirmed sub sub C, then there is no point for me of drawing a down Fibonacci on the two hour chart. Okay? And this is the monthly. Got it, but confusing. Miguel, you need to obey the rules, okay? everybody the forex market it's a financial game 
between the two countries and countries have contracts they want to have stable values because of the imports and exports this is the monthly chart when the market hit the upper band you need to reverse everything and anything when the market hits the lower band you need to reverse again everything and anything it doesn't matter if down here your Fibonacci is pointing down your Ichimoku is pointing down or your super mega JP Forgan Chase robot is pointing down you need to reverse everything go in the opposite direction if not you are going to lose so in theory whatever direction the higher time frame is telling us is the way we draw our FIPS on all lower time frame no no sir this rule time to shine is just in here when the market is at the bands okay just where the market is at the bands as soon as possible the market is over 10% of the band then this rule doesn't work anymore okay okay Miguel when the market hits the upper band you need to reverse everything and anything and when the market hits the lower band you need to reverse everything and anything monthly chart okay back to the original question Akos says up Fibonacci so we have an up original Fibonacci on the monthly and an up confirmation Fibonacci on the monthly and we also have an up Fibonacci original one on the weekly and we have an up confirmation Fibonacci with a confirmed sub sub C on the weekly and because of the monthly chart is going up and the weekly chart is going up guess what the other time frames are going to do so time to shine is asking so if it was in the middle or the bands what do we do then you need to separate the different time frames you need to check okay you need to check okay time to shine it's not the same if we are entering here or we are entering here or in here it's not the same everybody is it clear to you what we are going to draw an up Fibonacci on the one hour chart two hour chart four hour chart is it clear Miguel says therefore when we draw the Fibonacci in every time frame we must do it in the same direction one monthly weekly daily and the two hours yes where we when we are at the bands Miguel in here quadrant the answer is yes but only at the bands okay when you are over past the band and you are in the middle of the range you are going to have maybe an up Fibonacci on the monthly but you are going to have a down Fibonacci on the weekly and uh, down Fibonacci on the daily in the middle of the band it happens time to time okay but at the band the answer is yes near the band okay and again everybody you can accept what we are teaching you you can reject no problem okay and of course everybody this market is going up but it's going to wave right it's going to wave make a cut retracement maybe tomorrow news announcement and then it's going to break up again but Fibonacci speaking everything is pointing up on the bigger time frames so let's go on the 2 hour chart and let's try to find our 
Fibonacci of the confirmation. That's confusing when it is in the middle of the range. <coughs> okay. AUDJPY, everybody. Great questions. AUDJPY monthly chart. It's not just this pair, okay? For everybody that think that's confusing, this is AUDJPY, it's the monthly chart. Okay? Upper band, lower band. Right? And we are here right now. We don't have the crystal ball. Right? So this is the monthly. The market hit the upper band and it hit the lower band, correct? And from the lower band we started, let's say like this, okay? This is the monthly chart. So we are going to draw a monthly Fibonacci. It's up, right? This is the monthly Fibonacci original one. It's a way of thinking everybody. This is going to be blue, this is going to be blue. And we are just monitoring the market, right? So this is the monthly chart. And we're going to open also AUDJPY daily chart. Daily chart, go back in time. Daily chart, go back in time. So this was 2009. 2009, let's go back in time. 2009. Okay, there you go. So this is the daily chart. And from the daily chart, you have the first Fibonacci, and then you have the... We are monitoring, right? So you have the second Fibonacci, and you are monitoring the market, and you have the third Fibonacci, right? And we are here, right? So we are monitoring the same thing. This is the monthly, right? And this is the daily. Now, this point in here, this point in here is this point in here. We are monitoring the same thing. So we are monitoring the market. We have an up Fibonacci, right? This is this mess, the sideways movement, right? And from the daily, this is this mess, the sideways movement. Let me check, is the one, two, three, one, two, I made a mistake, this is the first one, right? And green goes to green, green goes to green. So this is going to be the next on the daily right and on the monthly bam the mark see the fibonacci hit the d extension so a to b b to c c to d right a b c d i'm sorry but i find the fact that in the middle is not applied a bit arbitrary and left it to subjective choice no sir no sir you need to follow this is why I'm showing you. It's not arbitrary. You just follow the market, Miguel. Look at the daily. The daily is up, up, up. Right? Just adjusting the Fibonacci. Up, up, up. But the monthly chart, it was what? The monthly chart, it was April 2013. So in April 2013, and we don't have the crystal ball. April 2013, here the market hit the D extension on the monthly and also this level is the band. This level here, Miguel and everybody else, is the band up in here. 
and here comes FX passion breaking your balls and telling you you need to reverse the Fibonacci you are at the band and you are screaming no because I have an up Fibonacci on the daily I have an up Fibonacci from the 2 hour chart I have an up Fibonacci on the 1 hour chart, 4 hour chart and then come and then I come and I said I don't care you need to reverse the position you need to reverse the Fibonacci and you are saying me no the Fibonacci is up I'm going to leave it like this and I go again breaking your balls no you need to reverse your Fibonacci and you as a good beginner trader you don't listen right and you are monitoring the market on the weekly and the daily right and and you are having a counter trend line breaking here counter trend line breaking here right and you start drawing the confirmation Fibonacci right and you enter the market why not right look at the daily man okay not the best example but still you don't listen to me this is your risk this is your reward right you are entering the market monitoring the market the market goes up and you are happy of course right and you are monitoring the market right and you it goes up again right and you are in profit right and then you enter here again you enter here again with another counter trend line break right in the meantime I'm telling you reverse the Fibonacci no no it's up the daily Fibonacci in the one hour chart and the four hour chart they are up I'm not going to reverse the Fibonacci I've made money on the first one so I'm going to make money on the second one in here and then the mark is going moving sideways bam you f you lost the first one you just lost your first trade and you said whatever it's just a deep correction and you are monitoring with the counter trend and break from the daily right and you have here let me see and you are going to enter here again long because you have a, an up Fibonacci on the where is the original one there you go you have the parameters of the original Fibonacci right and you are going to enter here right and I'm telling you reverse your positions reverse your positions this was the market going up I'm telling you reverse your Fibonacci and you are saying no and you are going to enter again long right and you lost again on the daily and you said well it's just a correction and you enter long another counter trend and break and you lost again just because you are stubborn everybody stubborn 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 see what happened next it's a rule everybody and yes of course the market loves to retest the bands time to time you know but I'm telling you when the market hits the upper band reverse your Fibonacci and everything and no it's not arbitrary it's not what you should do from the daily chart what you should do from the daily chart when the daily chart I should delete 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 
this was the beginning right what you should do when the market hits the upper band and this is the upper band whoops okay clone what you should do is to reverse your positions reverse your Fibonacci reverse everything up in here that's understandable but now it's the middle on the monthly what would we do how do we decide what to do you just follow the sequence you reverse your Fibonacci on the daily when the market hits the upper band you cancel your up Fibonacci on the daily chart and on the other charts you cancel your Fibonacci on the daily chart and you start drawing a down Fibonacci time to shine and you follow the sequence just follow adjust your Fibonacci the market hit the, the extension right the decision that we are talking about is when the market hits the upper or the lower band this is the decision how oh, passion but how we are going to know what to do well follow the market follow the Fibonacci so readjust your Fibonacci right I'm not going to do it on the daily because it's going to take too much time but I can do it on the weekly AUD JPY weekly chart let's compress the chart so upper band lower band what to do the market hit the upper band reverse your Fibonacci this is it you follow the market the market went sideways hit the red line what to do you follow the market this is the second Fibonacci on the weekly you just follow the market it's the same way A B C D A B C D A B C D and the same goes on the daily it's exactly the same okay time to shine answer follow the sequence okay Miguel are we clear when the market hits the upper band on the monthly weekly and daily one hour to whatever reverse your Fibonacci cancel the Fibonacci delete the up Fibonacci and go down in the opposite direction Okay, Miguel, and time to shine and everybody else. I'm telling you, if not, you are going to lose. Okay, back to the original one, to our chart. Let's try to find a confirmation Fibonacci on the two hour chart. So first the original one, right? A to B, B to C green goes to green let's make it like this let's make it like this there you go okay but I just realized I have an important concept wrong no problem Miguel no problem happens all the time <laughs> believe me <laughs> and it says I understand okay don't worry okay so this is the two hour chart A B C D where is the lowest point inside the B boundary after the B before the market hits the appropriate the extension I think is this one but let me check to be sure 
Yes. A, B, C, D. Okay, we are here. We are here. This is the up Fibonacci original one on the two hour chart. So let's write down the letters. This is A. 24, this is A, this is B, it's up here, this is B, this is the C, here, and the projected the extension is up in here, the extension, whoops, not G, the extension up in here. There you go. Where is the everybody? Question number one: Do we have a contrarian Fibonacci? And question number two: Do we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation? Do we have a contrarian Fibonacci on this chart, Canada JPY two-hour chart? And or do we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation? I thought the structure and trend decides the direction of the Fibonacci. Not always. Not always. Not always. Sometimes they are going to be in sync, sometimes they are they are not going to be in sync. Everybody, I know it's confusing, right? Because on the daily chart, you have a down original Fibonacci. On the daily chart, Canada JPY daily chart, you have a down original Fibonacci, right? But because the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame, and because you have on the monthly and weekly original Fibonacci is pointing up, the Fibonacci of the confirmation pointing up, and on both time frame you have a confirmed C, there is no point, not that you can't, you can draw down Fibonacci on the chart chart. Okay, know that you can't. You can draw a down Fibonacci on the 4 hour chart, 2 hour chart, but what is the point? If the monthly and weekly are pushing higher, why would you draw a down Fibonacci? Not that you can't, you can. It's not right or wrong. But if you're going to follow the sequence, you should be following the sequence of the higher time frames. Okay, so question on the two-hour chart, do we have a contrarian Fibonacci? And or do we have a Fibonacci of the confirmation? And yes sir, we don't have a contrarian Fibonacci but we do have a Fibonacci of the confirmation. Where does the Fibonacci of the confirmation start? Everybody. Where does the Fibonacci of the confirmation start? Starts with the starting point of the trend after the B, right? In this case is going to be our C. So this is going to be our Fibonacci of the confirmation. We're going to color code it the same as the original Fibonacci. So this is my C and this is my sub A in here and up in here is going to be my sub B right and 
somewhere down here is going to be my sub c but c is not a confirmation though you are absolutely correct it's not confirmed still you have an original fibonacci and the fibonacci of the confirmation pointing up sub a sub b sub c sub d why are we drawing this fibonacci of the confirmation on the chart because we use the fibonacci of the confirmation to re-enter trends when we have missed the entry at c so the entry the entry was here this was the counter trend line break and this was the entry of the original Fibonacci okay and yes of course risk reward is not worth it and this was a speculative entry because the market didn't break structure but still this was the C point and this was the entry for the super aggressive traders but we missed that right so we are going to work with the Fibonacci of the confirmation to re-enter and remember tomorrow we have a news announcement coming out of Canada so let's adjust our Fibonacci of the confirmation and let's follow the sequence sub A is here sub B sub C didn't hit the blue so it's still green and we're here right now sub A sub B sub C sub D right question if for any reason the market breaks this counter trend line can we enter this trade and the second question is what is the probability of this entry to be a winner what do you think but the market can reverse yes of course of course the market can reverse and also the market is going to reverse yesterday we were talking right and we said oh let's go long not yet you are in an extension on the monthly you are in an extension on the weekly market wave extensions and retracement so wait for the market to retrace and enter on the next counter trend line break from the higher time frames maybe not monthly but you can enter after the market retraces on the weekly or the market can retrace on the daily for sure so yes it can retrace and it's going to retrace Time chance says no, time chance 50-50, Akko says low, correct, and it says 50-50. Now, in this case, everybody, it's less than 50-50. It's less than 50-50 if we are going to enter. Why, why the probability? Okay, let's talk about risk reward. We are going to enter and let's say that we are going to risk this right and we want to go after this minimum right so why is our chance of success less than 50 50 Yes, it's 50-50 because it doesn't have a confirmed C, right? But let's see if have a, it has a confirmed sub C. We are going to draw a Fibonacci, a contrarian Fibonacci on the Fibonacci of the confirmation. And yes, we do have a confirmed sub C. This sub C is confirmed. So if we are going to enter on the next counter trend and break going long, why is our probability of success less than 50-50?
That risk is not the logical risk either. Time to shine, great answer. What kind of risk do you want or are you going to draw? And uh, when this happens everybody, you need to ask yourself as a beginner Fibonacci trader this is the most important question you should ask yourself what Fibonacci am I trading? if you are going to enter here on the next counter trend and break it's just an example okay maybe not the best one you should ask yourself as a good beginner Fibonacci trader what Fibonacci am I trading? am I trading the Fibonacci of the confirmation? and what is the probability? am I trading the original Fibonacci from the 2 hour chart and adjust the risk accordingly? and what is the probability? am I entering here and trading the contrarian Fibonacci on the daily chart if you want or am I trading the weekly or the monthly Fibonacci if I enter on the 2 hour chart, what Fibonacci am I trading? Now here is the trick everybody and this is the challenging part for the beginner Fibonacci traders. There is no right or wrong. You are going to have traders entering and buying this counter trend and break and they are, some of them are going to enter from the Fibonacci of the confirmation on the 1 hour, 2 hour, 4 hour chart some of them are going to enter at the same place counter trend and break, bullish candlestick formation but they are going to look at this trade from the original Fibonacci on the 2 hour chart some of them are going to enter at the exact same time and area counter trend and break and they are going to enter from a daily perspective some of them from the weekly and some of them believe it or not from the monthly perspective and there is no right or wrong it depends on the trader we can still reverse because we don't have a conformity on the original fib yes but you have a conformity from the weekly and the monthly it seems very low probability you are correct but from what time frame is low probability from what time frame is low probability okay and then what Fibonacci am I trading second question for the beginner Fibonacci traders what is the difference what is the difference if four traders enter at the same time and place but on four different time frames what's the answer this is not beginner stuff anymore everybody professionals that use Fibonacci understand professional traders that work with the Fibonacci understand this question and they know the answer what is the difference if four traders enter at the same time and place but on four different time frames what is going to be different million dollar trillion euro question 
for the one who manage capital of others, money managers, hedge fund traders, pro proprietary traders. What is the answer? The difference will be the risk. What else? Yes, one point for time to shine. The difference is going to be the risk. Yes, sir. What else? Risk reward is the same as risk. Yes, aqua's one point for you. What else? What else is going to be different? Stop loss goes with risk. Yes, sir. One point to now off. What else is going to be different? Analysis. Yes, sir. One point to time to shine. What is going to be the dif difference? There is one big point in here. The entry is going to be exactly the same. What else is going to be different? Risk reward, yes sir. What else? The time of getting loss or profit, yes. What else? Loss or profit is part of risk reward. One point for you, Olga. What else? Million dollar, trillion euro question for the professional traders. The FIBs will be different. Of course, but what else? A better view, no, what else? Of the chart. What else? Exit goes to risk reward, one point. What else? What else? Risk reward is profit and, and stop loss. What else? And how you analyze in the chart. What else is going to be different? Exit still the same. Risk reward. What else is going to be different? You have two more different things that are extremely important. So everybody you are right number one is risk reward of course what is number two you have number two and you have number three lot size no sir doesn't matter aquas no sir lot size doesn't matter you can risk one percent on the monthly if you have enough capital and you can risk one percent on the two hours on the two hour chart. Across lot size, no sir. Uh -uh. You can risk one percent on all time frames. So lot size, time to shine. Two points. Probability is going to be different. So risk reward number two. Probability. Number two, two points for time to shine and one more that is the most important, number three. Two points for time to shine, one point for Victor, Olga, Akos, Nawaf, Miguel, one point for you, two points from time to shine. What else is going to be different? And this is the big one. Come on, there is no right or wrong. Don't be shy. After you enter the trade, what is the most important thing you must do as a beginner trader or professional trader? You calculate your risk reward, you calculate your probability and you enter the trade. What is number three? What is the most important thing after you have entered the trade? How long they stay in the trade? No, sir. More volume? No. Any no? No, no. Three points. Time to shine. Yes, sir. Congratulations. How they manage the trade. And this is the big one, everybody. You can have four different traders entering at the same place, at the same place at the same time, 
some of them are going to lose and some of them are going to win because of the different probability and between of those that are going to win how are they going to manage the trade the winners are going to manage the trade differently you cannot manage the trade the same way from the monthly that you are managing from the weekly and daily it's different Miguel risk management is number one yes sir congratulations time to shine now try to put this in your training everybody okay it's not going to help you if you just watch these webinars over and over and you don't follow this so you have different time frames and you have different Fibonacci to trade the original one the contrarian one and now you have the Fibonacci of the confirmation okay and from the different time frames you are going to have different risk reward and different probability which one you should trade should you trade a trade with better risk reward but lower probability or should you choose a trade with better probability and lower risk reward what is more important and lastly number three how are you going to manage the trade this is what differentiates the masses of traders who lose money in the markets from a professional trader professional traders use this way of thinking before entering a trade on the same currency pair what is the risk reward from the two hour standpoint daily standpoint monthly weekly what is the probability and how are we going to manage the trade because you can enter from the two hour standpoint with one probability and you need to manage the trade accordingly what if you enter shorting the market tomorrow from the daily chart what is the probability time to shine says trade with high probability yes sir yes sir what is better there is no right or wrong in here right of course what is best to have a good risk reward a good probability and a plan how are you going to manage your trade right so just to give an example and then we are finished for today I can enter in here from the one hour chart or two hour chart and I'm going to manage my trade if I have enough capital from the weekly chart okay but I need a plan where to get out where is the stop loss do I have enough capital how much am I risking tomorrow is the news announcement what is going to happen if Canada cut the interest rates is the market on the weekly chart going up or it's going down for how long it's going to reverse just for a day or two and start moving up back again or is going to reverse and push down further trying to find another sub sub C this is the plan professional traders right oh man I want to buy a Ferrari I want to be a millionaire I want to travel all over the world well you need to work and this is hard work in here this is the work everybody without this Fibonacci trading uh -uh, you are not going anywhere passion it's not Friday <laughs> yes this should be Friday lesson right when I scream at you <laughs> yeah everybody have another platform that I'm streaming from and this comment is not on YouTube but it's on the other platform passion it's not Friday why are you screaming at us okay okay everybody our time is up see you back tomorrow stay strong and trade with passion
learn this stuff everybody this is fx passion signing off